Hi guys, welcome to module two, titled Scientific Discoveries and Innovations. Your objective today is to give examples of scientific discoveries and technological innovations, including the roles of scientists and inventors that have transcended the boundaries of societies and have helped shape the world. So, all of that means you're going to do first is understand what the word innovation means. The word innovation means that it's a new method, idea, or a product. So it's something that has never been thought of before, similarly to the light bulb many, many years ago. An innovation is not an improvement on a product. Is something brand new that hasn't been thought of so what you want to do is you're going to be exploring different innovations that have happened over history I want you to do this by using Google images to search a photo representing an example of a scientific discovery or technological innovation when you find an example of a scientific discovery or innovation, I want you to post it on the Padlet located in Module 2 of your Canvas titled Scientific Discoveries Examples. Now, examples can be, you know, many different things throughout history. For example, did you know the pencil is an example of technology back before people used pencils that was considered technology so when you hear the word technology I don't want you to only think about cell phones and computers I want you to think of how things were innovated even before electricity so things like block printing um, the steam powered engine canals ships dams irrigation systems um, then when electricity was invented then you have things like computers internet the telephone even things that doesn't have anything to do with um, technology or anything to do with uh, electricity rather like certain vaccines or medicines like penicillin poisonous gas things like guns automatic weapons all of those are things that scientists and inventors had to come up with one day and they helped to shape the world that we live in today so what you're gonna do is just explore that when you access the Padlet you want to make sure that your contribution is unique from everyone else's so if you already see an example of the particular image that someone else has put on there that means you can't put that one you have to choose another one so I gave you a few examples, but there are many, many more. You can um, just think of it, you know, brainstorm, or you can do a little bit of research on your own. And this process should take no longer than about 10 minutes or so. After you do that, you're going to watch a video titled The Railroad. And the link to this video is located inside of the module in your canvas so all you have to do is click the link and then you're going to take notes in your ISN on page 22 you're going to title your notes scientific discoveries the railroad so go ahead and press pause if you need to get your ISN out and things like that and update your table of contents title page 22 scientific discoveries the railroad and these are two questions that I want you to think about while you watch the video question number one according to the video in what direction did the railroads expand and question number two what impact did the railroads have on life in the United States and Canada and in addition to these two questions, I want you to add any other important facts that you think might be necessary to add to your notes. And you're going to create your notes any way that you want. When you click the link on your, on your um, module, the video will show a, a, 
a railroad and a train so you'll know that that is the video that you're supposed to be watching and on there is titled transcontinental railroad videos so you'll see that and then once you do that you'll be ready to go to your left hand assignment so your left hand assignment after you watch the video and do your notes is that I want you to illustrate the impact that railroads had on the United States and Canada. Now you can do this however you want to, but some ideas that you've done in the past are a one pager where it looks like a front of a magazine cover, or you can do an illustrated map and do like call out boxes to where you can, you know, write in your ideas of how the impact. Um, how the railroads have impacted the United States and Canada. So again, you do that however you want. So let's review. First, you do the Padlet. Then you will watch the video. You'll add to your notes in your ISN. You'll do your left-hand assignment. And finally, the list of to-dos that you should have accumulated since Tuesday is right here. So look over this to-do list and press pause and you just want to double check that you have done every single thing that is on this list right here before you think that you are done. The bottom of this list says culture quiz and I will upload a quiz for you in in your canvas in your module so that you can take that and as long as you've done everything that you were supposed to do on yesterday you should define on the quiz as always please let me know if you have any questions by giving me a message emailing me or um, sending me a message through canvas and ask mrs ms webb if you have any questions that i cannot answer for you right then all right, guys, y'all are doing a great job. Stay tuned for module number three tomorrow.